from her fight for pay parity on gentlemen prefer blondes to troubles on the set of Some Like It Hot. September 28, 2022 Spoilers for Blonde Ahead In his review for Netflix's Blonde, starring Anna de Armas and based on Joyce Carol Oates's best-selling 2000 novel, Vanity Fair's Richard Lawson points out that filmmaker Andrew Dominic offers precious little of Marilyn Monroe, at work. Her 15-year career in Hollywood, in which Monroe was first take. Viewers are offered snippets of Monroe's career, her first major performance as a deranged babysitter in 1952's Don't Bother to Knock, her fight for pay parity ahead of 1953's Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, and turbulent days on 1959's Some Like It Hot. But how many of the showbiz stories in Dominic's Blonde are true to how they really went down? Below, a breakdown of the filmmaking fact versus fiction. Marilyn's big break at the start of her career in showbiz, Blondes Monroe is raped by a man referred to as Mr. Z, David Warshawski. Later in the film, when Monroe is asked by Joe DiMaggio, Bobby Cannavale, how she got her start in movies, she appears disturbed and flashbacks of the assault play in her head. While the Mr. Z character is an invention of Oates's novel, the closest real-life proxy is likely 20th Century Fox studio head Daryl F. Zanuck. In real life, there isn't evidence to support that Monroe was assaulted by Zanuck, according to biographer Anthony Summers. He was caught, however, initially unconvinced that Monroe was a star. The problem was that Daryl Zanuck really didn't like Marilyn, Amy Green, one of Monroe's friends, told Vanity Fair earlier this year. He had a bug up his ass about not absolutely giving her the right parts. She was not respected within the industry. And that's what she wanted, respect. Zanuck would later become an engineer of her career, signing her in 1951 as a contract player to the studio. During her tenure in Hollywood, Monroe was subjected to predatory behavior at the hands of other powerful men, she revealed in a 1953 article titled Wolves I Have Known, as told by journalist Flora Bell Muir. In it, she wrote, the first real wolf I encountered should have been ashamed of himself, because he was trying to take advantage of a mere kid. He gave me a script to read and told me how to pose while reading it. All the poses had to be reclining, although the words I was reading didn't seem to call for that position. According to one of Monroe's friends, per biographer Charles Casillo, she had an arrangement with film executive Joe Schenck in which she would service him for career advancement, including, 